Welcome to the Breakfast Club for Saturday the 21st day of April. It's great to have your company. I'm just making myself a nice little cup of tea. Beautiful. Got myself a nice cup of tea here. A bit of toast with a bit of marmite on. Just the way to start the day. I love me breakfast first thing in the morning. Best time to have it really, isn't it? Hey, today on the Breakfast Club, it's a very exciting day because shortly we'll check out Groovy Ghoulies. We've also got a new program called Ring Raiders. Now, I'm not too sure what Ring Raiders is about. I mean, it may be about ringing some Raiders or perhaps ringing Raiders, or I'm not sure. So if you stick around, we can find out together what exactly Ring Raiders will be. But I guarantee it'll be a whole lot of fun. Plus, we'll check out Denver, the last dinosaur. And it's a very special day because it's the Fingerprints Competition draw. That's right, we're going to tell you who our fingerprint competition winners are there's been some great entries coming in thank you very very much and today we'll find out who our six winners are so stick around for that but before we check out groovy ghoulies tell me this have you ever or know anybody who has ever sleepwalked now it's a funny thing sleepwalking is well it's sort of walking when you're asleep hence the name funny thing you're sort of sleeping but you can still walk now some people sort of sleepwalk around the house Fine. In fact, I've actually sleepwalked when I was a little kid down the corridor. It's a funny sensation. And they say, if you ever see someone sleepwalking, not to wake them. So there you are, if you see not to wake them, because it can give them a bit of a shock. But listen to this for a story. I've got it written down here. A fellow by the name of Michael Dixon, on the 6th day of April in 1987, that was, what, about three years ago? Well, he sleepwalked, but he didn't sleepwalk down the hall like me. No, no, no. He didn't sleepwalk around the house. He sleepwalked out of the house down the road to the <laughs> railway station, got on a train, 160 kilometres he slept walked on a train. Think about that. And here's Groovy Ghoulies. Now, I still can't get over that story I was telling you before about that fella who slept walked out of his house, down to the train station, fell off the train 160 kilometres later and, and sort of woke up, didn't know where he was. He didn't sleep walking 160 kilometres. That's from here to... A long way away. Hey, I've got some mail for you right now, and it's very special because it's overseas mail. That's right, it comes from overseas, out of New Zealand. That's right, I'll tell you what, huge audience for the Breakfast Club, worldwide. Look, this is a great little photo. I'll show you the photo right now. It's a very special person by the name of Alexandra Foster. There's Alexandra right there. Okie dokie, I'll show you the photo, now I can read you the letter. There's Alexandra Foster. Now, she lives in a place called... Fiji. I'm sure you've heard of a place called Fiji. Fiji at the Koru Levu on the at Koru Levu on the Coral Coast, which is a pretty nice place I've heard. That's that's on the main island of Fiji between Nandi and Suva. There you are. Bit of a geography lesson today. We're finding out. She goes to Kindi and Koru Levu, and she loves watching television. And I'm going to send her a little tape so she can see this with her picture on it. There you are. So if you ever going to Koru Levu, look up Alexandra Foster in Fiji. Look at that, overseas mail on the Breakfast Club. I'll tell you what, no matter where in the world you live, no matter where in the world you're living right now, there's a good chance that it's in New Zealand, I think. I'll tell you what, Jason Gunn would love to hear from you, and he told me that personally. So if you'd like to write to him, this is the place to write to. It is The Breakfast Club, a P.O. Box 1945 in Christchurch. That's The Breakfast Club, P.O. Box 1945 in Christchurch. Right now it's time to check out a new program by the name of Ring Raiders. I don't know anything about it, so it's as much a surprise to me as it is to you. Let's check it out. Well, I'm sure you're enjoying our Ring Raiders, and Ring Raiders will be back, of course, next week. And back with us right now, we've got <laughs> Constable Keith and Sniff. Hi, good morning. Great to be back. Hi, hi, good morning, good morning, good morning. Well, today we <laughs> find out who the winners are in the draw a picture with your fingerprints competition. Wow. <laughs> hey, and we got a lot of great entries. And thanks very much to all those people who, who did enter, and we'll give you the, the winners a little bit later we on. We had some great entries, didn't we, Snuff, eh? Yeah. Blooming marvellous. We did, but before we show those great entries, there's six of them, by the way, 
you're going to show us how you actually find fingerprints. Right, okay. Well, it's really very simple. Okay. Um, I've got some special paper here, and I've got uh, some... Got your stuff. kit, haven't you? Yeah, and a brush. Right. Now, all I want you to do is just put your fingers in uh, okay. the paper. Um, that'll do, that'll do. Hey, oh, sorry, I was enjoying that. Now, we just get the little bit of powder, and it's just a matter of matter of going over. Aha, uh -huh, there they are. Look well, at that, that you Jason. See, caught red-handed. Look at that. Aye. And you can see them there as plain as day. You can even actually see the lines in them. And, of course, now it's just up to the experts to find out who they belong to. And we all know who they belong to, right? Yes. Mm. <coughs> but it's really quite simple. We've got different coloured uh, powders for different jobs. So... Amazing. I know, I know I've got greasy fingers. Yeah. Where should I put them? Hey, speaking of fingerprints, we're going to find out who our six winners are here. I've got three yep. winners here and you've got and three I've got winners three, yeah. over there. Well, look, we'll read them out and show them to you because they're fantastic entries. Kim Hedderay from Hastings. Kim Kennedy. Here's Kim's entry. It's beautiful. Can you see that right there? Good on you, Kim. Thank you very, 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 very much. And uh, next one is uh, Jody Barringer from Mosgill down there by Dunedin. And look at this one. She's got a cow and a bear and a pig and uh, all sorts of different animals made from fingerprints. Well done. Good one indeed. And Juanita Jellyman. Beautiful name, Juanita. Beautiful name. From Hamilton. There we are. There's Juanita's entries. We've got dogs and cats and all sorts of things there. Right. And Clarissa Papata. From Auckland. Look at this one. Very neat. You can see all the Very lines. Nice. And uh, she's done a man and a tree and a spider. All sorts of things. I right. hate spiders. <laughs> yeah, right. Thanks. You got another one there? I got another one right here. It's from Francis Hackshaw of Rotorua. And look, Francis is only four years old. And this fantastic one. Francis, nice one. And the last one is Sasha <laughs> Cotter from Pokatani. And look at this. A game of hockey and all the players there and even got the crowd saying go 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 for it and all the rest of it excellent well done and all you people are our winners what That's have they right. won oh, they won release Kunstler will keep and sniff tapes you see a lot of fun here boy when you listen to the old Kunstler will keep and sniff tape i tell you that much friend eh? and what did you think of the entry sniff oh, aren't they blooming marvelous yeah Look, right a lot of hard work gone into some of these you did right well done and thanks indeed. to everybody who entered yep well we're going to check out them for the last dinosaur right now see you later bye see ya